Hey guys! Well, my husband set this up, so right now you're looking at the bottom of a ladder because he didn't flip it to look at me. So, here we go. This is me in my quarantine hair. Um, I just pulled things together here really, really quick because I had to run out to our storage space and uh, grab some of our jewelry to get it back here. We haven't done a show since we did the Maryland Home and Garden Show. And that was the first week of March, so we have been shut down. All of our wholesale clients have either canceled or postponed. Most of them, thankfully, have postponed their order uh, with us. So we have uh, pretty much been shut down here. Fortunately, Roland is, is um, lucky enough to still be working from home. But uh, Silver Girl Central, Bonita Beach Jewelry Central is shut down. And uh, we're working on some things to try to let everybody know that we're still alive. And so today is the first day of uh, a week long of pulling some of the jewels out of storage and getting them out back in front of you guys and letting you do some shopping for Mother's Day. So we're going to have a whole schedule of events that will, it will include a couple of live events today, uh, next Sunday at 2 p.m. And then we're going to do a, a uh, closing um, event, which is going to be, we're going to call it Last Call, and it's going to be Cinco de Mayo. So it's going to feature our cocktails and it will have Last Call jewelry. And that's going to be super, super cheap stuff that just needs to find a new home. So anyway, our schedule will be. Um, today we're going to be doing our one of a kind pendants. So I'm going to go through all of those and on, uh, to, uh, tomorrow is mermaid Monday. So of course y'all know that I have mermaid jewelry and, um, we're going to be featuring mermaid jewelry and our sea life collection, um, in, in our, um, our Laramar sea life collection. On Tuesday, we're going to continue with Laramar and we're going to do classic Laramar and that will be everything that we have that's Laramar that is not sea life because sometimes it's just nice to wear Laramar and not wear, you know, a, a mermaid or a starfish, but just have that touch of the beach without being there. Um, on Wednesday, we're going to continue sea life and we're going to do our silver sea life and our shell and abalone jewelry. On Thursday, we're celebrating our fur kids. Um, Mother's Day is for fur kids too, so we're going to have our dogs and cats and various other animals out with us. Uh, on Friday, it's May Day, so we're going to celebrate May and, and the coming of flowers. So we will feature our garden collection and gemstone jewelry on May Day. On Saturday, in uh, celebration of the Kentucky Derby that would have been, that's rescheduled right now until Labor Day weekend, we are going to have Derby Day and we are going to have uh, feature our horse jewelry and some of our statement pieces that if you were heading out to the Derby, you would want to have some of these amazing pieces on because people would just ooh and ah. Um, they might not even notice your crazy fascinator if you were wearing some of these amazing pieces of jewelry. Next Sunday, we're going to have a return to the classics. I'm going to feature, feature our opal classic jewelry and our classic sterling jewelry. A lot of folks think we're just sea life, but we actually do carry some of the classic sterling jewelry. Um, on Monday the 4th, I'm going to do a, a summer accessory preview with anklets and toe rings, and I'm going to show you some of the chains that we carry. Uh, we carry leather and chains, so anytime that you need chain from a simple box chain to something a little bit more elaborate, then uh, feel free to get in touch because we can always hook you up with chains. And on Tuesday, we are having our last call for Mother's Day. That will feature our Cinco de Mayo cocktail collection. And we're going to have a whole selection of very discounted jewelry. So um, that's going to be um, closing out on Tuesday the 5th. So again, live events today, next Sunday and Tuesday the 5th. And um, we are also going to do daily updates that I'll post to Facebook um, then. So anyway, let's get started. Uh, today I am wearing a gorgeous piece of turquoise. Uh, what else do we have? Turquoise. More, tu more turquoise. These are in my own personal collection. Um, this is a piece that's available, although it's currently out of stock because we can't get anything in from our folks in Thailand right now. But this is, this is Shatakite, one of my favorites. And I missed getting my earrings on. They're laying over there, so we'll probably just skip them. <laughs> so anyway, uh, let's get started. And I'm going to start with something really, really cool. So we're going to flip this around. And this 
is one of the coolest things that we have. And it was, um, it was a big hit at the, the Home and Garden Show. What you're looking at is an adjustable ring. We're going to put it over here so you guys can, can see. Oh, there's a scissor. He's come to help. Um, this is an adjustable ring. You can, you can adjust it um, to any size that you need. It's probably, probably will adjust to from a 6 to a 10. On one side, it's got a gorgeous abalone stone. And then you can flip it. Yeah, you can flip it. And on the uh, on the back side, this is a synthetic black onyx. Um, we carry this in two styles. Normally retails at forty eight dollars, but you guys, if you're shopping with us, these things are not online. Everything that I'm going to show you today, pretty much assume that it is not online at uh, www.benitabeachjewelry.com. Um, but you can just comment below. I'll get in touch with you and let you know about it. This one is a composite turquoise set with a composite red jasper. Um, everything that you shop today, we are going to take 30% off. Um, so anything that this whole entire week when you're shopping with us online, you're going to, you're going to take advantage of our 30% off of our regular prices. Um, that's normally our friends and family discount. We're going to apply that to you guys all week this week. Um, and then if you do shop online, I want you to use code mom rocks 30 mom rocks 30 is going to be your online shopping code um, we're going to post things out there to let people know that uh, um, they're going to get a regular code which will be for 25 percent off but your pieces are going to be 30 percent off with code mom rocks 30. all right let's get started this is jewel school um i'm going to be featuring some of the coolest jewelry that we have some really unique stuff periodically and I'm going to be just kind of giving you guys an update on on uh, some of the things that you may not be familiar with. And this is one that always gets a lot of attention whenever I go to the gem and jewelry shows. We, we were supposed to be at the New York gem and jewelry show um, up in New Jersey in Edison. And um, that should have been a week and a half ago that we were supposed to be there for five days. And I probably would not have had these pieces here if I had been at the gem and jewelry show because all the rock hounds love this. This may look like glass, and it is pretty much glass, um, but it's a special glass. It is called Moldavite, and what's so special about Moldavite is that it comes from um, areas primarily in Europe, uh, Moravia, uh, some areas in Russia where um, there have been meteorites, and it's hit a sandy loam kind of base and basically fused to create glass. So we have some gorgeous, that says chrome diopsite, and uh, my my manufacturer on this mislabeled that. That is actually Moldavite and Peridot. Some gorgeous pieces here. This one we stock all the time. That's uh, Prionite um, and Moldavite in the center and Peridot up at the top and the bottom. Um, but gorgeous pieces, Moldavite. I'll, at one point I will post some pictures of Moldavite out there and let you guys kind of know what it is and... and and, and start to educate you a little bit more. So anyway, let's start through with colors. This is Zizzer. <laughs> he is not for sale. But uh, I'm going to just kind of go through our jewelry. Today is all about the pendants. And these are all one-of-a-kind pieces. So, And I'll educate you a little bit as we go on. Um, when we're working with our folks in Tasco, Mexico, a lot of the pieces that they do for us that we can recreate in multiple um multiple pieces as the same same thing you'll see like this is what i'm talking about these are composites that means that these are stones that are made out of resin so they are synthetics it helps us keep the price point down and sometimes people are just looking for a pop of color not necessarily a gemstone so i'll try to point out where you're looking at a, a, a synthetic or a composite um, and what i'm going to do this is tray number one tray number one has got purples and a little bit of pink in it so if you're looking for a piece and you want to reference it later this is tray number one um and there are let me give you a wide view on this there are uh, seven rows of three so you can reference that way um you're looking at, at amethysts and to give you a reference point, these trays are about two inches by two inches square. So that's how big you're looking at. Uh, amethyst, purple turquoise, you guys may have noticed I posted some purple turquoise rings out on the uh, webpage the other day. I've got purple turquoise available for all of my Ravens fans, rings and pendants, uh, a few earrings as well. Uh, this piece that you were looking at is um, actually 
it is a uh, tourmaline. It's it's in its raw form. You're usually seeing tourmaline all um, shined up and usually just pink or purple or green. Uh, that's a composite. Uh, this is a stone called um, Scolocyte, I believe. Um, it's kind of beachy. Another one of my favorites here, if you guys can see closely, this is Udialite. Um, and it is usually set with a gorgeous little garnet, which these are as well. This is another gorgeous piece, and it is set with um, green tourmaline. That's synthetic. And the rose quartz. Um, there's not many natural red-colored gemstones out there in the world um, or stones. These are rhodochrosite and, and rhodonite. Rhodonite here, rhodochrosite here. Um, just some of the few reds or pinks that are available. Not many. Um, down here we've got an amethyst, a big amethyst with a galaxy quartz. And this is a piece of quartz, and this has been hand-dyed to get to this purple color. Sometimes you'll see us carry this in a turquoise blue, um, but that's what you're looking at here. Uh, scapolite, these are tiny little necklaces, pretty little things uh, with a white topaz. Would be perfect on one of our chains. Um, Moreno, um, or Murado Opal, and Chevron Jasper are these two pieces right here. Our next tray... We're going into the pinks. We're going to start with something unusual. This is Roman glass, and this is 2,000 years old. I'll be converting some earrings because these things are a little pricey. The earrings, as you can imagine, are a little more pricey. Um, but I will be converting some earrings that I have in dependence. Uh, Roman glass is found primarily in Israel. Um, pieces that, it, it's uh, drinking vessels from Roman times, uh, it's found in the ground, and the the minerals in the ground has have caused the glass to make this really gorgeous patina. And um, it is over two thousand years old. If the if the vessels are intact, then they are they are used um, they are saved for for uh, relics, and the broken pieces are registered and they are made into jewelry by some of the artisans out of Israel. Um, so that's how you get Roman glass if you see it out there a lot of times you see green This is really cool because this is some pinks and blues and colors. I'm not used to seeing um, This is a gorgeous little tourmaline um, Pink tourmaline and a green one at the top um, Actually, it's more than pink. I don't know if you guys can see it. We're looking out the backyard here um, It's gonna focus on the backyard which really needs to be Have its springtime clean up here, but what you're seeing this is actually watermelon tourmaline and it's it, it uh, kind of looks like watermelon it goes from pink to white to green just like a watermelon rind um, these little pieces are here now we're going to move into the reds these reds are all composite except for this particular piece which is a garnet um, again there's not many red gemstones out there so we use composites a lot um, the orange is uh, sponge coral and um, these two pieces are really interesting right here this is Sonoran Sunset. Um, this is Sonoran Sunset Jasper. Or Sonoran Cuprite. Um, and this is a Sonoran Jasper. These are the same stone. And, um, they are um, just a really unique look to them. Um, back here, these pieces are are um, go called Goldstone. You can see that this is called Goldstone. But I'm going to show you two other pieces, one in blue and one in green. And these are also goldstone. Um, it's, an, it's a naturally occurring stone, and it's, uh, we like to call the green one mermaid skin. So uh, just to, to have a little bit more fun with it. Um, tray number three, it's got greens in it. Uh, we start out up front with uh, some, co some composites. Uh, we've got a little par peridot, and then we've got um, green amethyst, some malachite. Um, this is um, Mexican. Um, this is Mexican fire agate. You don't often see Mexican fire agate. Um, it's usually pretty expensive, but this is mixed with peridot. I'm doing a lousy job of keeping focused as I poke around in the jewelry. <laughs> um, these are ammonites. Um, this is fluorite, which is a stone that's typically found here in the U.S. Um, and all of those wonderful colors 
or in the stone. Um, kind of kind of unique. Um, this one I'm going to go with a type of rhyolite. One of my favorite is Labradorite. These couple of pieces here. Gorgeous Labradorite. We've got one more. Um, what you'll notice about Labradorite, these are kind of gray, except for this one's got the blue flash in it. They typically will flash either um, red, green, or blue, yellow. And by flash, that's just the, the stone. You can see this one's flash. It's got a blue flash to it. Um, but your, that's your, your good Labradorites have a really gorgeous color to them like this. Uh, moving on over, this is a piece of stalactite. A uh, little piece of emerald, and uh, that's emerald in its raw form. You're used to seeing it look much more extravagant in the jewels that you see on all the celebrities on TV. Um, this is a piece, this little heart is ocean jasper. And uh, a little bit more of uh, a gold labradorite back here. Tray number four. Uh, we're going from greens to browns. In this tray, we're going to start with my mermaid skin up here again. Um, it's a green gold stone. Uh, we've got some smoky quartz, tiger's eye. This is one of my favorite stones. Mother Nature can't do any better than, than this. This is, this is a fossil coral. So this came from rock that was underwater for quite a period of time. And um, it's just kind of a really gorgeous piece. Um, this is another gorgeous piece of fossil coral. So you can see the the little the little coral um, animals that have been fossilized there. It's pretty pretty neat. I I can't get it often, but when I do, I try to grab what I can. The amber that you're looking at is Chiapas amber, and that is from Chiapas, Mexico, which is south of where we go in Tasco. Um, and typically, all of the all of the amber that we get our hands on where when we're shopping in Mexico is from Chiapas. Uh, these are ammonites. Again, big, big, big with our with our rockhound friends. Uh, we we typically sell out of those. And you guys may be familiar with this. Um, this is pyrite or fool's gold. Um, just some unusual pieces. Moving on to tray number five. This one starts with a little bit of blue and black. Um, primarily up front, we've got some. Um, Druzy quartz. Uh, Druzy quartz is just typically a regular white quartz, and it's it's open like this where you can see the the inside part of the quartz, the crystal part. And jewelers will will apply a mag a um a, a um magnetic vapor. Uh, it's kind of same kind of painting that they do on uh, uh, car finishes. And this, this metallic vapor that they put on this bonds to the stone and makes a permanent coloration to the stone. So that's what you're seeing there. Um, composite. Um, and this one is a real lapis. I've got a couple more lapises over here. We'll get to them. Composite Jasper. Composite Jasper. I love these. We carry these in a couple of different styles. And I'll cover those on Classic classic Sunday next Monday. Or next Sunday. Um, this is composite. This is natural onyx. Rutilated quartz, uh, natural faceted onyx, composite, uh, composite uh, blue. Uh, that is the the blue um, goldstone and um, fossil coral. This is mother of pearl and onyx. Go on to tray number six. We've got, um, we start into the blues, some of my favorites. Um, this is natural lapis. Um, lapis, you can see, it typically comes from places uh, like Afghanistan. They are known for their for their lapis. Um, uh, Russia has denim lapis, but typically you're gonna see the darker blue lapis like that. Um, this is a composite piece. This piece is, um, You'll see a couple of them in another tray, but this is actually, well, it's it's a questionable piece that, that um, some folks say it exists and some people say that it's made up. Um, the the guy from that you see on Jewelry TV swears that he's been to this mine and that this is a place in Sonora, Mexico. And this piece is called Rainbow Calcelica. And um, 
it's just layers of, of strata. They claim it's just layers of stratified rock and it's natural. And other folks say eh, it's made up. <laughs> um, there is something similar called Fordite. And Fordite is, well, actually, if somebody will post below, the first person to tell me below what Fordite is, um, I'll send I'll send you a little a little something out in the mail. Um, uh, but but uh, I have a piece of Fordite and one, on one of the next shows, I'll tell you what I'll, I'll show you what Fordite is. Um, this is one of my favorite pieces, Sodalite. And then we get into I'm wearing what I'm wearing, which is the Shadokite. So we've got a couple of Shadokite pieces. Uh, yeah, you're seeing that price right. Um, Shadokite is not cheap. Um, that particular piece will retail at 200 but for you guys, it would be uh, $140. This is um, Shadokite and Appetite at the top and Blue Topaz and Natural Pearl. So this is a pretty cool piece. Um, here's a little bit more of the Rainbow Castellica that I was talking about. And more pieces of Shadokite. We have put Shadokite into production with our folks in Thailand and uh, expect to be getting a good bit of that in here once we can, can get things fired back up with them. Um, here's a little piece called from that's Appetite. Um, this is Arizona Lightning Blue Chrysocolla. And this is Kyanite and uh, White Topaz. And finally, before we get out of the dark blues, I've got another piece. And this is from one of my favorite folks down in Mexico. And uh, her artisans do um, jewelry out of Talavera, out of Talavera that's typically used for tiles or for um, pottery, plates, water pitchers. You guys have probably seen Talavera, and this is Talavera that's made into jewelry. So we are going to move over to the blues, and that's going to end up for the day, but we're going to my favorite color palette. Um, got, let me show, show you here. This is actually an interesting study on turquoise. What you're seeing here is a natural turquoise. Um, that is actually, you see it's got a gold tone to that to that setting, and that is actually what they call tumbega, which is a mixture of silver and um, bronze. And they use that sometimes in Mexico to get a, a different color um, whenever they're, they're mixing their metals to, to get some interesting pieces. That piece that you're looking at, as compared to this piece, uh, the star is a composite piece, which doesn't look bad for a composite. Uh, and then this green turquoise there. So sometimes when you're out looking and if something looks kind of night, not quite like what you would think in nature, it may well be a composite piece. So if you're buying from me, I always tell you what it is. If you're buying from somebody else, make sure that they're, they're not charging you turquoise prices for a synthetic stone. Um, uh, better yet, just buy from me. <laughs> this is blue copper quartz. I've got some gorgeous pieces over here that we'll wrap up with that if I was going to pick something fun for summertime, those would probably be some of my picks. So let's go right into the turquoise. Um, most of the turquoise that you're going to see in here is natural. So I'll let you know whenever I bump across a piece that's not. Um, again, here's our Aztec sun. I mentioned that, that we'll have that next Sunday in the classics. Um, all of this is natural. Uh, this is um, Chrysocolla, which is not a turquoise on these two pieces back here. Um, turquoise, turquoise. This is a composite. Um, this piece is a piece of Arizona Lightning Blue Chrysocolla. It's got a real neat watery look to it. And um, here we have a composite as well. Everything else in this tray is natural turquoise. There you go. And moving on to the next tray, uh, we're going to start out with well, these little guys are all composites. And then this is a piece of natural green turquoise from Mexico. I uh, snuck in a little blue topaz in here and a little cross with a piece of natural turquoise in it. Um, this is a uh, rainbow calcellica set with a smoky quartz. And uh, a composite piece, um, a piece of um, chrysocolla there. And then we've got some bluer turquoises. 
uh, blue copper quartz. This is an interesting piece. This is Chinese turquoise. I want to show you the difference between Chinese turquoise and a typical, this is a Mexican green turquoise. And what you're going to see here, Chinese turquoise to me always looks like somebody, like chewed up bubble gum. <laughs> and it's just, it's got a very dark veining to it and it always has this funky texture. Um, but it's typically very bright blue and uh, it makes a, a pretty cool piece. Um, but I always think that the texture always reminds me of like gum that somebody left underneath the, <laughs> underneath the table. See, I promised that I was going to do my best jewelry TV kind of wackiness. So there you go. Um, and then we're wrapping up with these two pieces would be if I was going to pick pieces for Mother's Day and I wanted a reasonably priced piece. Yep, let me, I'm struggling. There we go. If I wanted a reasonably priced piece, um, that's natural it's a natural gemstone but it's it's sandwiched with copper um, these are blue copper quartz and what they do is they take natural gemstone and they they combine it with a resin and uh, in this case it's filled in with copper and they make what I like to call stone scrapple um, as all you folks in Maryland are typically aware of what Scrapple is, it's kind of just picking it all up, making a block of it, and then they can carve out of that block. But these are some of my favorite pieces in the tray here. They're just fun, really fun for summertime. Um, you know, they would just, I'm trying to give you a perspective of what they look like. Um, just pretty cool. So anyway, that is wrapping things up for today. Um, thanks, Brenda, for coming out and watching us today. I know that a lot of folks don't know we're out here, but hopefully that will change as we go through through the week. Uh, we appreciate you uh, keeping our business in your thoughts and sharing our business. Let folks know that we're out here, and, and um, we thank you for tuning in. I'm going to be posting some things uh, over the next couple of days. Again, come back tomorrow, and... Um, Come back tomorrow for Mermaid Monday, and my assistant is just reminding me that we have gift certificates. We just sold one on the store just a little while ago, so if you are listening to this and you just purchased a gift certificate from us, then please, uh, we thank you so much for coming on and, and buying a gift certificate from us. We have some gift certificates out there that are gift certificates plus jewelry. So, for instance, if you're buying this $40 gift certificate from us online, you can select an anklet. We have a couple of choices of anklets, and that's a $20 value for the anklet. So you're getting a free anklet and a $40 gift certificate. Uh, we also have a $20 gift certificate available and that has some of our limited edition tiny post earrings on it. So you're getting a $15 value uh, tiny post earring and a $20 gift certificate. So if you're undecided for mom and you, and you need some ideas, then go for that gift certificate. Get a little pair of tiny posts. You get a little gift and you get, uh, and you get a gift certificate to use later. So um, anyway, that is it from uh, Bonita Beach Central here today. And we thank you for, for your support of our business. And we will see you then uh, tomorrow online.